Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, listen, I've been like tracking this um, new site about amyl nitrate, and a lot of people have been giving the amyl nitrate thing a big bad name, and it's basically not that bad. All it is, in the most technical form, is it's a substance which, if you put it in your system, mainly your respiratory system, it's depleting all the oxygen for about five seconds so the oxygen that's meant to go to your head to provide your brain with some oxygen is being depleted for that five seconds now look this is the stuff here I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want to get fucked over for it but it's not illegal anyway you can buy it from sex shops I didn't say that but it's called amyl nitrate it's about 20 bucks now this one is called rush and this one's 20 bucks but there's more expensive ones out there as well this one does the job now what you do is you basically like open the thing like that put your nose over it like that take one big breath and it takes about a second to kick in and it's just like holding your breath for two minutes hang on a second oh my eyes roll back to the top of my head it's, it's it's a rush now a lot of bad press has been put on this product I mean namely if you take it or you snort it you're gay now okay and this is fucked because of two reasons a if you are gay and you participate in taking this due to the reason of um, feeling better about getting your ass fucked now okay Fair enough, good on them. But the second reason why this is wrong is because if I go to the gym frequently, and if you go to any gym, I challenge you to do this here you put four times your body weight onto the leg press machine, and you push that weight about 20 times the absence of oxygen going to your head because it's going to your legs when you get up is the same effect of amyl nitrate because the blood which has, has deprived sorry here yeah, um, we're still getting strong deprived of oxygen will give you that effect so as you walk off the gym machine the bent leg press sorry does that mean you're gay because you feel like you've had amyl nitrate no so it's a fucked argument is what I'm trying to say okay um, there's another argument of the evil of amyl nitrate the fact that it's dangerous now there is no danger in having a small inhalant and smelling it any more than there is doing pot or something like that but look okay, it's semi-legal so you get it from like these sex shops that sell it under the counter they won't tell you unless if you look like a cop obviously they will not sell it to you so you gotta go in there with an open mind um, and two people could kill themselves off it now this is complete bullshit if you were to go and try to kill yourself with amyl nitrate by taping two bottles like one there one there you knock yourself out before and hopefully the bottles would fall out of your nose and you wake up with a bad migraine but if you were stupid enough to tape it with super glue or something to your nose or you're fucked anyway for using super glue on your nose but if you knew that that was going to kill you and you proceeded to do that well I commend you because you wanted to kill yourself in that manner rather than throw yourself in front of a bus fuck up a bus driver's livelihood and fuck up 30 people's day on the bus so but it's it's probably just easier to, I'm not saying go kill yourself but it's hard to kill yourself with amyl nitrate I'm gonna say that I've done it yep the likelihood of killing yourself with an amyl nitrate is probably like one in a billion you have to be totally stupid enough to ingest the shit it's, I've never ingested it because the label firmly says do not ingest 
you sniff it like you're sniffing glue or something. Not that I've done that, but that's how you'd go about it. But if you sniffed any more than five seconds, you'd basically knock out. That's how strong it is. It's pretty potent. But it feels good. That's why people are doing it. Anyway, so that's all I've got to say about this amyl nitrate thing. So if you do it, enjoy it. Don't go crazy. Um, and here's a little tip for watching. If you put it on a warm surface, say uh, a heated mouse pad or even the back of your mobile phone for a few minutes, uh, the effects of it are stronger. So that's a free tip from me. So enjoy yourself. See ya.